holiday headaches for travelers. With thousands of flights canceled or delayed over the last week, even more people are hitting the roads. WKRG News 5's Haley Kennedy is here with us. Haley, what can drivers expect over the next few days? Yeah, that's right. As you can see behind me, this is a live look from the I-10 Bayway and traffic is smooth sailing. Although experts say that the 4th should not be too bad, expect more cars on the road on the 5th. As the holiday week begins, you may have seen a lot more of this on the roads as people from all over are traveling on I-10. We are headed to Gulfport, Mississippi. Orlando, Orlando Florida. Florida. Panama in. City Beach, Florida. The Alabama Department of Transportation said about 2,500 more people entered the Wallace Tunnel Friday. You could probably expect that again to happen on Wednesday. But for Monday, things have been clear. Now today, you know, Monday before 4th of July, if you look at these images right behind me, this is the Bayway, the Causeway. Uh, it's pretty clear things are things are moving smoothly. Despite traffic being smooth so far, people we spoke with Monday say they've been waking up early to avoid delays. We left at six this morning, had no problem. And that's what the Alabama Department of Transportation recommends you do as well on Wednesday. Of course, you know you can leave earlier or you can leave later and avoid the that that huge rush. Wednesday between noon and four is when the holiday rush is expected to be the worst as tourists check out of hotels and head home. The Alabama Department of Transportation says to keep an eye on driving apps for alternative routes. In the studio, Haley Kennedy, WKRG News 5.